Hey guys, Josh back again with another Star Wars graphic novel review. This time reviewing Star Wars Kanan Volume 1, The Last Padawan. This review will be mostly spoiler free, so if you haven't read this yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, this video will be perfectly safe for you. Star Wars comic books, this was the one I was most apprehensive about because it mostly takes place in the prequel era, which kind of left a bad taste in my mouth and everybody's mouth. But thankfully, I was nervous for nothing. All right, let's start off with the art in Kane and the Last Padawan. The art is amazing. It's probably the best art, in my opinion, in all of the Star Wars comics. It's very different than the art in Star Wars Rebels on Disney XD, because, of course, the show is geared toward a much younger audience than the target audience of the comic books. And the photorealistic style is just perfect. I love the art in this book. I'm going to give it a perfect score of 10 out of 10. Moving on to dialogue, there's not really any of that cheesy comic booky type dialogue in this book, which is amazing. I love that it comes across as pretty serious, yet still in universe. It feels like Star Wars, but it doesn't feel cheesy, which is awesome. I gave it a score of 9 out of 10. And finally, story. I love the story, actually, as well. It takes place kind of as a flashback, as Kanan and the the crew of the Ghost are having to go back to Planet Caller, where Kanan underwent kind of a traumatic experience. He was there with his master when Order 66 came down. So the, he's kind of reliving this traumatic event, and the story mostly revolves around Caleb as a young Padawan on the run after Order 66. And it's absolutely amazing. I love this book. It's one of my favorite Star Wars comic books going. In fact, I think it just wrapped up to drap wrapped up its run. I think I think it's done now. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any more. Two volumes of trades, and I think that's it. So we have another volume coming out if you're only reading the trades, but if you're picking up the comics, you know, one at a time, I think it's over. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Kanan has run its course. When volume two comes out, I will definitely review that. And come back tomorrow, and Anna and I are gonna review Poe Dameron number one. That's a comic that I've been really looking forward to. I just read it last night, and I really, really enjoyed it. Anna hasn't read it yet. She's at work tonight. So as soon as she gets the chance to read that, we're going to review that tomorrow together. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that is it for this video. Seriously, if you haven't read Kanan Volume 1, check it out. Okay, that really is it for the video this time. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by clicking that like button and subscribe for more reviews. And I hope to see you tomorrow for our review of Poe Dameron number one. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.